Another Hezbollah soldier is taken to his grave. He's the latest fighter to die on Lebanon's southern border, a young father with children. They're shouting they're all ready to die in this latest battle with Israel. Keeping a lid on this is what's sending shivers around the region as the Israeli pounding of Palestinians in Gaza goes on. With every death of a fighter, with every death of a civilian, they're becoming more and more frustrated and wanting to do more to enter the war in Gaza. The Hezbollah rhetoric is not dialing down in public anyway. It's either that we have a religion, we have morality, we have humanity or not. That's why I tell you we're ready, we are ready for any kind of sacrifices. We're behind the cause, we're behind the Rathios people, and we will continue to struggle no matter what. We don't care about the American threat or the whole world's threats because we're confident we're able to take on any world power or the Israelis. The group, which is funded by Iran, has been long feared for its military powers. And Iran's foreign minister has warned that Hezbollah fighters have their finger on the trigger if Israel continues its onslaught of Gaza and kills Lebanese civilians. That vow has been sorely tested with the latest strike on a car which the Israelis say was carrying terrorists. It was filled with a journalist family. The three little girls and their grandmother were killed. The journalist survived. You Israelis are the terrorists, and those who support you are too. America is the mother of all terrorism. But the Lebanese caretaker government insists they're doing what they can to stop all-out war. Um, uh, I don't think there will be a war soon in Lebanon. And I think, you know, even the Iranians and Hezbollah are uh, uh, not assuring us, but saying it in an indirect way. When the Iranian foreign minister asks about what's happening to ceasefire. People asking for ceasefire means they do not want war. But with passions high and deaths rising, Arab leaders who are trying to calm their citizens across the region are insisting it depends on the Americans reigning in Israeli aggression inside Gaza and doing it soon. They say a ceasefire is urgently needed. And without it, it'll be harder and harder to quell emotions and stop this war spreading. Alex Crawford, Sky News, Beirut.